We're in Maine. Hey. <laughs> well, guys, a new day, new state, new place, new lake. We are in Maine. This is my first time in Maine. Mine too. No way. <laughs> We're on a little side adventure here, spending the next few days in Maine. We're going to take you around. We're here to explore, and currently we're in what's known as the Highlands. We're at Moosehead Lake, the largest lake in the entire state. It's not too much smaller than Flathead Lake, which is near where we live back in Montana, which is the largest lake west of the Mississippi. So Moosehead Lake is up there for one of the largest lakes in the country. Right now we're in Rockwood, and we're about to take a boat shuttle to Mount Kineo. We're going to get confirmation on how to pronounce that. But we're going to take you along for some fun main adventures. Yay. And discover some of the main attractions. <laughs> oh, main. We have 30 minutes until the next shuttle comes. Now we're just going to sit by the lake, enjoy the sun on this beautiful early August afternoon. And then we will see what we can find over on the peninsula over there. This is stop number one. Hey, Holly. What does Karen ask for when she's in Maine? I don't know, Jeff. What does Karen ask for? The manager. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> hey, Holly. What does a lion have on its neck? A mane. A mane. <laughs> hey, Holly. <laughs> oh, God. Another. <laughs> what? What is the first thing you should do in an emergency situation? Call 911. Remain calm. Uh -huh. So. One of the main features in Maine would definitely be the moose. We're seeing moose stuff everywhere. Moose Cafe this, moose head like that. Everything here, moose, moose, moose. I hope to see some. <laughs> My oh. arm doesn't stretch around this <laughs> board. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's going through the hole. Thanks. <gasps> ah. Oh, isn't this lovely? We just spent $14 per person round trip to get to Mount Kineo. And now we're going to enjoy a little boat cruise to get there. Yay! This leaves from this dock every single hour on the hour. And on the way back, it's every single hour on the 45s. That is info. The left of our docks is the public park. That's an 800-acre state park. The clubhouse is open from 8.15 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. Past the tower and you'll get one. That will take you down the North Trail on the back side. So there's actually a golf course on this peninsula. So a lot of the other passengers on this boat have their golf clubs with them. I feel like I'm in Wii Sports Resort. I would love to golf. <laughs> we should have brought our clubs, Holly. I want to golf here so badly. <laughs> so fun fact about us, we were on the high school golf team for four years. Go dogs. Go dogs. <laughs> you led the girls days. team to my, state. You won state. Days. You were part of the winning state. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. She's just being humble. <laughs> Hello hikers. We're going on a spontaneous hike up to Mount Kineo, which is the centerpiece of this lake. We've got an 800 foot gain here. And now we're just going to hike up there. See you there. Let's do it. Woo! Look at these gorgeous views. We touched the water. It's super warm. And according to the boat ride on the way here, the Indian Trail is the most challenging. But up we go. Views have opened up. Views. And now I just send the only show that I will let Hey, so we're on a lookout tower now. We just hiked up to the summit of Mount Kineo. And we didn't know there'd be a lookout tower up here. Look. It's very tall. We're standing all the way up here. We just climbed up that. This video is brought to you by Crazy Hair. And Nature Valley. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three, I'm really sweaty in that shirt. Take over. <laughs> <laughs> we are hearing thunder. Which has us a little worried because what do we have booked today? It's rain. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, well, we have a little seaplane sea tour soon. We have historically terrible luck with aviation bookings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Helicopter, planes. Every single time we've tried, it's always been canceled. I've still never been in a helicopter, even though I've been booked for three of them. The rain is ruining our video. We love you, Mother Nature. Oh. Oh. We just decided to sprint. Uh. I was supposed to film some videos here. Now I'm covering it in water. Uh. A little bit soggy. Still love Maine, though. Love, love Maine. Maine. We is love her. Maine? It's warm rain, the so. The main thing is The main that. thing is the hike. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, stupid bug. A little update for you, we're now huddled underneath a tree. We are just waiting for the rain to stop. I was supposed to film a bunch of content, but as you can see, I look a little damp, which is too bad because I felt like I was just starting to get in the group of things, but that's okay. We'll just film it later. In the meantime, we're headed back to the boat, maybe grab some lunch. Let's do this. Pissing rain. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this seaplane tour. I am hoping that if you skip ahead in this video, you will see us in a plane. Yes. With wide open views. Manifesting. Manifesting now. <laughs> well, we're at the seaplane tour office. <laughs> A little bit worried. The sun just came out all of a sudden. I think this might be happening. <laughs> we just got word from the pilot that so far he's feeling very confident that this is going to be happening. It's going to clear up. I know. Hey Holly, hey, do you what? think this is the one we're taking? <gasps> I hope so. We just met Roger, our pilot. He's feeling very confident. Roger is a homie. I'm just glad it's not dumping anymore like it was literally five minutes ago. We're from Montana, we're used to this crazy weather. <laughs> See, the, that is awesome. But what is most fascinating is, and this is an actual flight simulator that they used back in the 1940s. It still works. That's wow. Wild. It's got rubber diaphragms and the rubbers are kind of drying uh -huh. up. Wow, lots of plane stuff in here. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about planes. This is all new to me. I still think it's fascinating. Now we have free time in here. Um, but actually, this plane, people that stopped right. in, because they'd be back at 8.30. Mm -hmm. If we were them, we would all go on this plane. Yeah. But okay. Be the three of us, so we'll go in the 180. That's we're going on the 180. This morning. Couldn't push that door open. Yeah. Like, there, it would crack open. All right, looks like now we've got some sunny skies. I'm cruising at an altitude of about uh, 10,000 feet. You can now take out your laptops. Use the restroom if you like. We've got the seatbelt sign off. Enjoy the restroom for that, folks. I can't hear anything I'm saying because they're not on yet. <laughs> they're so noise blocking. They are. Wow. <laughs> Let's reflect. That was amazing. That was so much fun. That was so oh. cool. We were actually flying pretty low, so you can see very visibly the shoreline, the trees. We even saw a moose, you guys, a moose. It was beautiful, beautiful sweeping views on all sides the whole time. We're just, oh, here comes Roger fueling Roger! up the, thank you so much. <laughs> he was a great pilot, very smooth ride, a very smooth landing. Somehow these planes can land on water, which still blows my mind one minute you're a boat the next minute you're a plane <laughs> and then back to boat it was awesome and so we also got to see mount Kineo from above which was really cool so we hiked all that all that effort this morning holly was for nothing because we ended up getting you know this view which trumped the one right. from the top didn't even need to hike it right that was a waste <laughs> yeah the moose was probably my highlight because you know i just love wildlife and I it was like so cool i like seeing it from that distance yeah right, right? <laughs> i'm just so happy right now yay goodbye plane we were in that in the air. 
Hello everyone, we're checking in on you. So quite a bit has happened since we last saw you. We are now checked into a luxury yurt. I've got a little bit of a gash to clean up. Anyway, what we've been up to, we've been filming lots of videos. I talked about moose, I talked about yurts, I talked about seaplanes, and now we're here. We're finally winding down. And of course, the content grind never ends. We got a vlog. Holly's starting to learn that the hard way. <laughs> All right, everyone, I am gonna give you a quick little tour of our yurt. It's so cute. Look at our bed. Okay, I'll flip the camera over so you can see it properly. Sorry about the mess, we weren't expecting guests. So this is our bed, this is inside the yurt. We've got a skylight. Moose bedding, of course, because what's Maine without its moose? Oh. So over there is our campfire and this is our dining room. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Hi. That was a wonderful way to spend a morning. We saw three moose, and actually some of the other people on this tour saw a fourth one. And I mean, th this is just moose mania out here. You can see them from the air, from the water, on the road. Moose mania. Moose mania. Early morning, wildlife sightings. There's just nothing like it. All right, folks, we just did the moose safari. Sorry I didn't really vlog that much on it. We had to be really quiet so we didn't disturb the wildlife, but that experience was 10 out of 10 loved it we woke up bright and early it started at 5 45 and we drove about an hour and 15 minutes from the northeast whitewaters camp and the drive was gorgeous i mean it was morning time so the golden hour the mist the fog it was stunning and then we made it to the pond we paddled around for about an hour and a half for moose and i asked her like what is the probability of spotting moose and she says she sees them four times out of five which is really reliable i'd say but i feel sorry for the people who are in the one time out of five that's yes but can't relate <laughs> now we're in the town of greenville to get some breakfast let the main adventures continue this is greenville it's so cute there is an absurd amount of american flags everywhere but you know we want to make sure we're distinguishing ourselves away from canada which is only about 20 miles away i'm also feeling really happy because yesterday was a rainstorm you saw that today bright and sunny blue skies let's get this adventure started here we go more American flags, more cuteness, more holly. So this is where we're having breakfast. It was recommended to us. Are they open? Oh, they're closed. We went to the second recommendation, Moosehead Beaten Deli. Apparently they have good breakfast burritos. This place is so cute. Yes, it's very homey. It's literally just the kitchen back there. They're just chefing up some breakfast burritos for us. Like a home kitchen, <laughs> not an industrial Like one. two people with a, an oven. I can already tell these are gonna slap these, are these gonna breakfast be burritos. I'm so excited. All the doodads. <laughs> we didn't even vlog the beginning of this because we just had to dive right in, but it's so good. So good. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, look at this. Ain't you guys. The breakfast burrito was so good, and now we're headed north to Baxter State Park area. 
update. We're now in Millie Knockin, Millie Rockin, <laughs> Millie Sockin Lake, <laughs> whatever it's actually called. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, it's called that. Millie Rockin. So we just checked into our place. It's of course called the Moose Inn. <laughs> Go figure. So I'm gonna show you guys the inn later, but they also have cabin options on the lake and that's what these are. They're so pretty. The inn is so cute though. I can't wait to show you. Look how amazing this is. I'm so glad we have a clear day. Let's walk on this dock. This is so beautiful. Look at this cloud situation. And of course they have a ton of kayaks and canoes and other water toys to enjoy. I believe this is their pontoon boat that you can go on and a range of little boat crews. I just love cabin life on the lake. It's the best. Wildlife. We stopped for a quick beer. We're trying local beer. This is called Tubular. It's very hoppy. Wow. What are you eating? Blueberry muffin, locally sourced from Maine. Never want this muffin to end. It's so good. Okay, we got a football sized chicken Caesar wrap for lunch. It's so big. Ah! All right, folks, we've now made it to Baxter State Park. Check this out. Molly, here we have Vanna White. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, a little update for you. We've made it to Baxter State Park, <laughs> which is home to the largest mountain in all of Maine, also known as Mount Kandat, Kand excuse me. <laughs> Mount Katahdin. And that's why we have her. This is Tally, she's our guide. She's Hi. gonna be, she knows the ins and outs of this place. She drove us out here. She has so much knowledge about what we're about to do. And today's uh, hike is actually a pretty short and easy one. It's a little out and back trail. We are headed to two waterfalls, is that right? Yeah, two waterfalls. I'm super stoked. And then afterwards, we're gonna do a little paddle on the lake with the view of the mountain that she just said, Katahdin. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I carried her. Hike so far, absolutely pleasant. The next step would be to more than likely hire a guide. Most people do submit for that specifically if they want a cow. There's a this is the little one, yeah. little Niagara. All right, so a little pit stop for some berry picking. These are little tiny blueberries, and what are these specifically called? So these are low bush wild main blueberries. That's why they're so tiny, because the high bush ones are really big. And this is a ripe one? Yes. Okay, look how tiny that is. <laughs> well, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Mmm, so good. Mmm, a little pop of sweetness yeah. to keep us going on this hike. Excellent. <laughs> what do you wow. think? Excellent. Here we go. I can hear the other falls. We're closing in. Da 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 da! <laughs> Where are we, Holly? Big Niagara Falls! What do you think? Gorgeous! We love Niagara Falls. I love the sound of running water. Nothing more therapeutic. Very calm up here. I think I've fallen in love with me. Me too. Oh, yes. So All right, folks, update for you. We're now on a canoe again. This time I'm doing the easy version where I don't even paddle. <laughs> Holly's just sitting back and relaxing here. And Tally's doing all the work for us. Thank you so much, Tally. We love you, Tally. We Thank love you. you. <laughs> We're doing a little uh, nice sunset cruise here, enjoying a nice view of Mount Kadadan. I think I got the name right now. Yes. It is just glassy water. So serene. I love it here. Is this what silence sounds like? I think it is. Let me flip the camera around so you can see what I'm looking at. Whoa, I see it. So that's Mount Ojai. That's my favorite mountain. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. An upside down camel? Good morning. It's our final day here in Maine. I'm going to finally show you the inn we're staying in. This is the Big Moose Inn. It's so cute. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. Look at it. Charming. Here's the front. Of course, Loose Moose Bar. Let's go. Let's go in the lobby. 
Oh, it's locked. The breakfast room. Look at this cuteness. We've got cozy cabin vibes, board games, checkers, Guitars, plates, old tiny portraits. <laughs> You can buy sage for $10. This is our messy room. Ah. Signing the guest book. Ooh, Milan, Italy. We're in Portland now. Hi. We're just gonna wander around, kill two hours, maybe get some ice cream, maybe so, lobster. So coastal. It so smells like the sea. I know this is a point of interest, so I definitely thought to vlog it. Okay. Let's go explore. Look guys, Portland. Live lobster, fresh seafood. More stores. Look at all these things. Look at the vibe, you guys. Look, a plaque, Portland Freedom Trail. This is the finale of our main trip, you guys. Aww. Our flight leaves in two hours. I was wondering if there was like an hourly rate. We are just trying to decide on where to eat. Got ice cream. Ice cream complete, and now we are in a seafood restaurant. We were gonna order our lobster because we're in Maine, as mentioned, but everything involving lobster on this menu is 45 to 50 dollars. One day, that'll not be a problem, right? We're gonna have smoku bucks to spend. We're gonna be rich. But for now, we are just gonna stick with the crab cake budget. And had it. And had it. <laughs> yeah, this restaurant is called DeMille's. Right on the water. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. We're looking at the piers, the yachts, the people, the things. Crab cakes, guys. Dig in there. <laughs> Let's do a taste test. So good. Love it. We're at the airport. Somebody forgot to take out her laptop. So. Uh, through security. Someone is me. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. Sad. I don't know. It's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. We don't want this trip to end. It's been jam packed. It's been beautiful and so and, much fun. and moose. So many moose. Well, guys, thanks so much for following along in the adventures through Thank Maine. Thank you to Trip Scout <laughs> for this amazing time and Jeff Hire for bringing me. <laughs> My pleasure, Holly. Thanks for coming along, bringing in the good vibes, good energy. Well, if you want to join me on more adventures in Maine, anywhere else in the world, don't forget to subscribe. And to mine, too. And of course, to Holly's, too, which is right now non existent, but hopefully soon by the time I post this video. Stay tuned. That's right. Until next time. Bye.